In this video, we're going to quickly describe the difference between acids and bases. So we've looked at acid naming in another video, and acids are made out of an anion, something like maybe a sulfate ion, and hydrogens. So if there are two hydrogen ions bonded to a sulfate, it makes, makes H2SO4, and it's only acidic if it's dissolved in water. The acidic compounds have a pH that is going to be less than 7. So 7 is our neutral pH, and every step along the way that it goes down, so if this is pH 7 and then pH 6, pH 5, each step is a difference in concentration of hydrogen ions of 10 times. And so this is a 10 times stronger acid, this is 10 times more and 10 times stronger even. So if it was pH 6 went to pH 4, it'll be 10 times 10 stronger acid. So that's a logarithmic scale and acids and bases are put on this logarithmic scale so that we can look at relatively, are they gonna be a really strong acid, something that's down here on the periodic table, or I mean on the, on the acid base table, or is it something over here down by pH of 14 and it's very basic. Acidic substances are going to be um, sour, they turn litmus, turns red, they react with metal to make hydrogen gas, um, and they conduct electricity, so they're electrolytes. So that means they conduct electricity when they're in solution. But bases are a little bit different. Bases are going to be greater than 7, and the pH could be as high as, or higher than 14 even. And bases are bitter. They turn litmus blue. They do not react with metals specifically. To, they certainly don't react with metals to make hydrogen gas. They are electrolytes. And um, typically, bases are just ionic compounds that have hydroxide ions. So this is the basic particle. So if I have a chemical like sodium hydroxide AQ, it's an ionic compound, so it does conduct electricity but it is also a base, so it turned litmus blue. So basic substances are going to always have the hydroxide ion in their ionic compound formula. So um, maybe we would have magnesium hydroxide, or um, the most tricky one to spot is ammonium hydroxide. And those chemicals have the hydroxide ion, so they're basic, they're going to be bitter, they're going to have a high pH, they turn litmus paper blue, and they would exist on this higher number end of the acid-base table. And um, if I had a, an acid and it reacts with a base, they neutralize. So we're going to study double replacement reactions later. And one of the kinds that we talk about is a neutralization reaction. And it's a way to be able to sort of cancel out the acidity with basicity or alkalinity, which is a word for basic. Um, so hopefully this gets you to try to organize the difference between them. They are both caustic. They both are corrosive materials. You don't want them on your skin for long periods of time. Um, so you would have to rinse them off. And in the case of an acid spill, I will clean it up by neutralizing it with base. But I'm always going to use a weak thing to clean up. So if I've got strong acid, I still use weak base, but I use lots of it. If I have a spill of a strong base, I'm going to use a weak acid to clean it up because I don't want to be left over with a different strong spill. So um, this is mostly what we need to know for Science 10 with acids and bases. Uh, hopefully that's all.